With the big loop done, it's time to readdress the peninsula. I want to close off this side of the peninsula, so I added this framework to the benchwork, and that'll give my MDF sheet something to attach to. I attach the first sheet of MDF to the framework and there's a gap at the top of the sheeting but I'm not concerned about that because the fascia for the bench work is going to be nine inches wide and it's going to cover any gaps. Installing the MDF sheet on the aisle side of the bench work will allow me to store some things underneath the peninsula and it won't be an eyesore. Before I can attach the second sheet of MDF, I need to work on this corner where the white posts are. The white posts are aligned for the lift out section, and that angle doesn't line up for the MDF sheet, so I need to cut a wedge to add on to that 2x3 so I have something to attach the end of the MDF sheet to. I used a bevel to get the correct angle I needed and then I used the bevel to set the saw blade angle. I glued a couple pieces of wood together so I could get the thickness I needed and then I ran the wood through the table saw to get the part I needed. Here I'm checking the angle of the piece of wood I just cut and it looks like it's a good fit. I clamped my two foot level to the framing and I use that as a gauge so I can set the correct depth of the part I cut. The piece of wood I cut overlaps the edge of a leg a little bit and that's going to allow me to butt the MDF sheet in this section to it and give me a nice clean edge. This part of the peninsula framework is going to be a little bit of a problem because that's a sharp angle, a sharp bend. So I got to wet the MDF so I can bend it around that corner and get a nice sharp edge. I applied water over and over to this section of the MDF until I felt that the MDF had saturated enough where it could bend it. Here I set the MDF in place and attached it with screws. The resistance on that bend is enough where I felt it would pull staples out so I put the screws in to hold it. You can see the sharp crease of the MDF bend and at the bottom of the crease you can see where there's some water had run off. I cut this panel to enclose the end where the lift out section will be. And I put a small cap on the side to give it a more finished appearance. I applied this small piece of MDF to the side just to get an idea what the fascia will look like when it's finished. I have the peninsula bench work to a point where I can move on to the next thing and that next thing is building the valance for the peninsula. I cut and set the main boards for the valance in place on top of the peninsula bench work. That way I could get the valance to duplicate the shape of the bench work. Once I had the main boards cut, I took the wood out to my patio and started to assemble the valance. These blocks on the top of the valance framework are for the eye bolts that I'm going to use to suspend the valance. I have all the blocks for the eye bolts in place and I have the cross sections in place and just about ready to add the sheeting. This is the Luon plywood I've used on the other sections of the valance and here I've glued it down and stapled it to the framework. Well I have the valance back in the room and now to figure out how to lift it up and install it. I lifted one end with whatever I had at hand and the other end I lifted up and clamped to the existing valance. Here I have the valance suspended. I'm using heavy wire to suspend the valance 
But before finishing, I'll replace that with a small diameter steel rod. I used a scrap piece of MDF to set the shape of the end of the valance. The fascia on the valance and the bench work is curvy, so there's no reason the uh, valance for the peninsula should be any different. I've cut boards to match the radius of the MDF that's bent around the end of the valance and glued those in place. Once I had everything set for the end, I cut the plywood for the top and the bottom, and the plywood is glued and stapled in place. I replaced the wire with small diameter metal rod, and now I'm adjusting the eye bolts to level the valance. Here's a good view of the eye bolts in the ceiling, and the four eye bolts in the valance, and the metal rods that were cut and bent to fit. The valance is permanently secured and leveled, and now it's time to install the fascia. The valance for all of the bench work is now complete, and the fascia for all of the valance is permanently installed. I'm pleased with how the valance looks. It's round and it's swoopy and it flows, and I think once it's painted it's going to look pretty sharp. Well, that's it for this one. I'll put up a few photos and show you how it turned out.